This is a video showing the performance of my new Peerless 63-03L boiler. I have uh, I have the supply dual dual supply piped to a drop header, and then a single riser up to my main. Everything's two inches, and I put two sight glasses here and then two valves so I could see what the performance was like because the manufacturer specifies a single two inch riser out of the boiler going to not even a drop header but just going to a regular header so imagine this side here let's say came up uh, you know like 24 inches above the water line to the header and just came straight over to the header and then the uh, header came across and went to this riser. That would be what the manufacturer recommends. So I wanted to see uh, how, it, how it performed with one or the other or both here. And what I found is I have to put the water level way up high. I've got it right at the top of the glass here. So it's a good three inches higher than the normal water level. And and it's uh, it's boiling right now, full full boil. It's been running for a few minutes. If I close one valve, then I can just start to see some some water getting thrown up a little bit into the riser. And this isn't very much, and the water level is very high. So this boiler is performing way better than my. There's a little bit of water. This, this boiler is performing way better than my old Utica, which was a Dunkirk design with a side, a side uh, steam supply on it. But um, so here you can see that it's uh, throwing a little bit of water up into the into the riser. But I've got the wa the water level crazily high right now, way higher than it would normally be, just to even get this much water to get thrown up. And all that water is getting, if any water is getting up over the drop, over the peak here of the drop header down into the header, it's going to get, it's going to get caught by the edges of the, you know, the interior of these pipes. And it's going to run along the bottom then. It's going to get captured out and it's going to run back down into the boiler. I don't, I can't imagine with this level of water getting thrown up. Now it's, see, it's hardly any right now. It just depends. It goes up and down with how much gets thrown up there. But even if, when you saw the most water getting thrown up there, even if some was getting over the top here and getting down into the header, it's not gonna. It's not gonna go up into the into the riser that goes up to the main. I mean, that's another. That's another two feet there. And I think that even even with the manufacturer's requirement of you know a non-drop header, a traditional standard header, and if the water level was at the specified amount, there's just not gonna be any water getting thrown into the into the main, not even close. This thing, per I can already tell, I've had this for just a few days installed, and this thing performs way, way better than my Utica, which was a Dunkirk design boiler with a side, a side steam supply out the side here. And it only had a single, that was part of the reason why it was horrible, but I got it to, to work pretty well. I had a sight glass on that as well, and it, it wasn't throwing any water into the main. But this one, I have to really, <laughs> really boost the water level to get it to throw any water at all, even you know up even up this high, and it's not it's not going to get into the main. There's no way. I mean this this glass is a little foggy, but there's not there's not going to be any water going up at this part of the header. Even if I were to boost the level even more, I might do an, another video where I really get crazy with the water, water level. So it's throwing a lot of water up this high and I maybe even make it so it throws it, throws it up here and see what happens uh, with the next step with it. 
So I look forward to that video. But right now, this thing is just performing so good. And I imagine uh, Wild McLean would be very similar with the top. Uh, with the top feeds on it like this. So I would just recommend people use the manufacturer's specification. I mean those those guys they have those those designs are how many decades old and they've had engineers working and testing those. You know, while McLean a couple of years ago even stopped they even stopped providing the dual uh, supply lines on their um, mainline boilers what is it the EG and people got really mad at them and so they brought them back they still just have a single supply I understand on their Williamson uh, lower lower tier brand but I wouldn't hesitate to to pipe one of these with the with the manufacturer specifications I mean look at that 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 water line is really high and there's there's just nothing happening here. It's it's fine. So, thanks for watching.